Josh here from Harmony Amp Music Academy. Check out this awesome linear drum groove that I'm going to run you through and teach you how to play. Now before we get into this groove and start learning it, it's important that you have a good understanding of quarters, eighth notes and sixteenth notes, as well as basic beats and how to count when you're playing as well. If you're just starting out or at a beginner level, what I'd recommend is taking a look at our drum starter course, which can be found in the description and can be bought online from our web store. This will get you started out with all your basic beats, basic fills and how to start off with drumming. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the beat down into sections and then we're going to piece all of the sections together to create the whole beat. So here's the first section. For the first section, we're going to break the beat down into two parts. The first part that we're going to do is going to be a kick followed by a hi-hat followed by another kick and the counting method for this is one and a. So on the one you hit the kick, on the un you hit the hi-hat with your right hand and on the a you hit the kick again. So it's one and a. For the second part of the section, same counting method, but we say two instead of one, so it's two and a. And what we do is we hit the snare on the number two with our left hand, we hit the hi-hat on the un a. So on the un you hit with your right hand, and on the last a you hit with your left hand. So you have two and a. Now we're going to combine those two parts together, so you'll have part one and part two together, so it'll go one and a, two and a. Now we're going to do beat number three and beat number four. This is really easy. Beat number three is exactly the same as beat number one and beat number four is exactly the same as beat number two. This will complete the bar when you do this. So in total, this is what you have. One and a two and a three and a four and a. Now what I want you to do is try doing four full bars, so four full repeats of that. Okay, if you've got the hang of that, then you're ready to move on to the next part. If you've not, pause the video, take it back and just run over it a few times until you can do that. Now what we're going to do is add the crash in and the crash only happens once in this. It's the only part of the beat that's not linear. What that means is that it's the only part of the beat where you hit with two things at the same time. Uh, we're going to add the crash in on beat number one of the first bar only.
Before we move on to the next part, we're going to actually just give what we've just done a name. So we're going to call that section one. Remember that because I will be mentioning it later on. Okay, this next part, we're actually also going to give a name. So the beat that we're about to learn, we're going to name section two. It's exactly the same as section one. The only difference is on the fourth bar, we stop playing after we say and after the second beat. So on the final bar, we go one and a two and, and we stop. Now before you move on to the next part, it's really important that you are able to do both section one and section two because we are going to be coming back to them after we've done this next part. So let's start learning the fill that is on the end of section two now. We're going to break the fill up into three different parts now and the stick in for all of these parts is kick, right, left. Part number one, the counting is really important on this one. A three E, A three E, and the way we do it is kick, snare, snare. So A three E. Part two of the fill, kick, floor tom, floor tom, and the way that we count for this is. An A4, so that would be an A4. Okay, now we're going to combine those two parts of the fill together. So we're going to go a three E an A4. Let's learn part three of the fill now. Kick, high tom, snare. Counting method for it, E and A. The part that we've just learned, we're going to give that a name as well. Really easy name, we're just going to call it Phil. Remember earlier when we gave the two beats names, we called them section one and section two. We're now going to take section two and combine it with the fill. If you can do all of that so far, you're ready to move on to the next part. If not, go back play it over again and just run through it a few more times. We're now going to combine everything together. So that's section one, section two, and the fill on the end. Check it out, play it a few times. Once you can do that, move on to the next part.
Now that you can do that, let's bring the tempo of it up a little bit, so we're going to make it a little bit faster now. And let's bring the tempo up a little bit more now, so a little bit faster again. We're now at the final part, we're going to try and repeat the whole thing four times in a row. Have a listen, once you've done that, take it back and try playing along with me. Thank you for checking out this video, feel free to comment below, hit the like button and subscribe to keep up to date with new drum grooves every single week.